Okay, it's Larry Hawk with NoMoreHoldingBack.com, stuck again at the University of Hartford for my two and a half hours on Tuesday night. Super Security Officer Mike in the background. How you doing? He's the man. Story about commitment and the things that we all want to do and what you are willing to do to get them. Yesterday at the gym, I was lifting weights. I'm uh, one of those fitness nuts. It's just what I am. It is what it is. It was upper body day, and one of the things I do when I lift weights is I have my cell phone in my pocket, and when I'm in my gym stuff, usually I have a, a pocket in the shorts, and I keep my cell phone in it. Some of the weights I do when I lift, um, I take it out and I put it on the counter because I don't want to take a chance on damaging the phone in case the weights go flying around when they're not supposed to. Now, one of the exercises I do is uh, shoulder lateral shoulder raises with um, dumbbells. So you take the dumbbells and you go up like this. I've always taken the cell phone out of my pocket. And stick with this. I know this is a, sounds like a story about weights, but it's actually about you too, whether you're a weightlifter or not. I've always taken the cell phone out of my pocket and put it down on the ledge in case the weights go flying. Yesterday, I decided I'm going to leave the cell phone in my pocket. And the reason why is when you do that particular exercise, lateral shoulder um, lifts, it's important that you get the form right because you don't want anything to go flying around. You could hurt yourself if you're not careful and you don't get the benefit of the exercise. Now, if I, leave, if I take this out of my pocket, if I take the cell phone out of my pocket, I'm letting myself off the hook from doing the exercise right. I'm not putting anything at risk. I'm leaving that commitment out of the mix. I certainly don't want my cell phone broken. But I also don't want to do this exercise the wrong way. I want to get the benefit out of it. I want to stay safe. I don't want to get hurt. I want to be healthy and strong, which is what I'm lifting weights to do in the first place. So I kept it in, took my 25 pounders in each hand, focused, concentrated, got it right, sweated, but I made sure my form was good. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got a better exercise. And I felt the benefits. And I felt that sense of commitment, like I was in flow to what I intended to do in the first place. Let's go to you. What is it you want to do? What commitment are you making to yourself? And is it a real commitment? A lot of people watching this are want to build a business. <coughs> Excuse me. They want to improve a relationship. They want to do something that's outside. <coughs> We're keeping this anyway, it's too good. They want to do something that's outside of their comfort zone. What kind of commitment are you making to the activity, to yourself? Are you leaving yourself an escape route that's allowing you, I'm going to use a strong word here, that's allowing you to weasel out on your commitment and not give yourself full value of the activities that you're doing. I want you to look at that. I want you to look at what you're doing. I want you to look at the commitment the real commitment that you're giving to it. And where you need to, I want you to take that cell phone, I want you to put it back in your pocket, I want you to cut off your avenue of escape, and I want you to do it right. And I want you to join up with a community of people who are moving in that same direction. We got one right here. You want to come with us, by all means. If not, find another one that works for you. I'm going to go Check this one out. Go hang out with Mike for a bit. It's Larry. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.